The day that I felt most daring, I stood outside a coffee shop, readied myself, took a deep breath, pushed the door open, and walked into a new future. I'm going to come back to that story. But first, I want to touch base with you about being daring and the difference between being daring and brave, how daring can just be a mindset, and how you can use that to your advantage to supercharge both your business and your life. So let's start with what does it mean to be daring? When I ask people that, the most common answer, oh, 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 I know it's about being brave. Well, yes, it is, and so much more. Let's start with what does it mean to be brave and courageous? Well, being brave and courageous often means being in fear of something and stepping through that fear to do it anyways. The energy is quite different than being daring. It quite often has the the energy of the stress hormones running in our body. We're scared. It's something we have to do. It's not always something we want to do. And once it's done, we just got, oh, we have that big relief. Okay. So a good example of that might be going to the dentist. There's not too many people I know that like going to the dentist, especially if it's something big, like having a, a filling or a root canal, but you have to get brave enough to do it or else you won't get that outcome. So it's very important in our life. But if we talk about daring and daringness, there's an element of being brave, but there's also the element of adventure. It's more about something drawing us in. It's about us wanting to do something that we happen to be scared about doing, and we do it anyways. There might be a little element of risk, but the feeling and the energy around it when you've accomplished it is exhilaration. It's like, wow. Just take a minute of thinking of something. When you think of someone being daring, you know, the really big stuff might be when uh, somebody climbs the mountains or those first flights in the airplanes. Those are big, daring adventures. But our daring adventures can be something far simpler. We can simply shift our mindset and put a swing on adventure on almost everything we do. We can be daring in as simple as putting on a bold color shirt if we're used to wearing blacks and grays. Maybe it's a bold lipstick. Heck, it might be just changing up what toothpaste you use. As long as there's something you want to do and you can feel awesome afterwards and you step through a little bit of fear, then that is daring. And what happens is it raises our energy. It makes us feel more alive with life. And that ripples out to the people around us. So if we take that mindset and apply it in different areas of our life, then we can supercharge it. So we can supercharge our life and our business and our careers. So let's take something to do with business. We're told that being on camera, doing Facebook lives and and doing videos and uploading them is good for our business. Well, that can be a little daunting and scary. But if we decide to turn it into an adventure and really focus on even if this helps one person out there, that is fantastic, then that can supercharge the results we get. We will feel exhilarated after what we have done, and that will ripple out to our clients. Because who who do you want to connect with? Someone that has some some fun, high energy that's willing to put their self on the line and be daring? Or someone that's just kind of like, yeah, 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 right? You You want to add that to your life. And I want to circle back and share with you how I used it to supercharge my life over the last decade. My life really shifted about a decade ago. And I challenged myself. I dared myself to take a step in multi areas of my life. One was education. I dared myself to go back to university in my late 40s. I finished qualifying as a registered nurse again when I turned 50. That was a huge daring leap for me, but I was more excited about the other end. So I stepped through my fear and I took it on as a challenge and it was exhilarating. I am terrified of heights. 
I'm really scared of heights, but I've been daring myself to do things that step me past that fear and have a sense of adventure. I actually climbed into a basket that was lifted into the sky, hot air ballooning over Cappadocia in, in uh, Turkey, outside of Istanbul. I was terrified, but it was such an adventure and I love doing photography. So I was more excited about the photography. So something drew me in and I looked over the edge and I got pictures. I did that again when I went to London last year, daring to adventure and travel and to go to places that are exciting. I went in the eye of the sky in London. I'm sure that, you know, you know, people or maybe yourself, you've gone. I was terrified. I literally inside cried. Well, not just inside. I think some tears came down my face. The first quarter, the first half of the way up, I was so scared. But the adventure of capturing those photographs when I was looking out onto the world there outweighed my fear and drew me in. It was so daring. What a beautiful, beautiful way of living life is when we dare ourselves to stretch outside our comfort zone. Now I'm going to circle back to something else I dared myself to do. When I walked through that door to go into the coffee shop, the reason I was feeling scared and anxious, but also exhilarated and excited is I was going on a date. This is something I brought into my personal life. For four years, I had been flying solo. I really wasn't interested in a relationship because I'd been hurt so badly. But in that moment, I dared myself to open my heart. And if your heart right now is not open, I dare you to do something that opens it. Because when we open our hearts, we shift our lives, we shift our relationships, and we absolutely shift how successful we are in our careers and our businesses. That meeting turned into a beautiful eight-year relationship that I absolutely treasure now, actually more than eight years. It absolutely transformed both of our lives. But if I had not been daring, and if he had not been daring enough to take that leap of faith, that would not have happened. So I want to end with asking you to dare yourself. I'd like you to pick three things. One very simple, it could be a new bold lipstick, one to do with your life, and one to do with a business or career and take on that dare and take note on how that ripple effect of energy transforms your life.